Extremity here from Extremity Gaming. Um, hello, fellow YouTubers and YouTube community, fellow gamers. Uh, excuse the squeaky chair. A um, few things here I wanted to go over with you guys, real quick here, with the uh, upcoming new patch here. As soon as I get back to the top of the screen here, the PTR 5.4 patch notes. I'm not going to run through every class, but I do want to check out some of them. Um, for instance, here, let me uh, show you what we got going on here. Um, let me move my dude here a little bit. Okay. Alright, so, oh, some of my eye. Alright, let's start off with the. Uh, so much, uh, you know, the strong monk class already. A few things here that I can, that stick out right away. Uh, Windwalker, three stacks, tiger brew. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, tiger brew received a number of adjustments. All right, here we go. Stacks up to 30 charges now, up from 20 charges. Can be consumed 15 at a time, up from 10. Uh, increases, increased, increases damage by 6% per stack. Okay, they increased that 5%. It was, it's up from 1%. Um, don't let that out. It, but it's not increased. No longer increased by mastery. So I mean. I have a monk, I haven't really played him, so I don't know the ifs and ands on that. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Oh, your pet now. Your white tiger has a pet bar now. It's going to be having a pet bar. Uh, healing looks are no longer activate, but the monk's already at full health. And activate automatically when the monk has less than 35% of their maximum health. So basically, it's kind of like a warrior's second wind. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, Ring of Peace. Everybody loves Ring of Peace. Uh, the monk second disarm. Uh, Ring of Peace now has a new visual effect. It properly disp uh, dissipates in the area effect. Both enemies. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Effects that properly dis. Okay, in the area of effect, and now disarms both enemies. And those attacking allies within the Ring of Peace area effect for four seconds. So they increased it up from three. And the silence effect of casting spells remains unchanged at three seconds. So they increased that enough for an extra second. Like, you know, they need that, you know. That's, that's just something monks need, you know. All right, moving on over here to Warriors. A lot of decent changes here for Warriors. Okay, here we go. Blood and Thunder now also increases damage of your Thunderclap by 50%. Enrage now trigger, also triggers on critical hits from Devastate and Shield Slams. It's good for you prop Warriors. Here's the things that I like too. Hamstring is no longer on a global cooldown. That is just awesome. Okay, that's, that's fantastic because you know you can swipe off a mortal strike and see your guy just take off. You know you ain't got to worry about keeping it up there. It's you know mortal strike and hamstring, whatever you want to do. It's they don't share the same global cooldown. Shattering throw no longer costs rage. It's an awesome thing. Here we go. <laughs> this could be awesome. Shield wall no longer requires a shield if the warrior does not have a shield equipped. It will show a visual of an equipped shield. That is just awesome. Uh, spell reflection no, requ no longer requires a shield. Uh, the warrior does not have a shield equipped, so on and so forth. It shows a visually equipped shield also. Uh, two awesome, there's a couple awesome things right there. 
I mean, it's just too cool. Um, the other thing we got here, uh, right here, a few extra changes. Blade Storm now deals an increased 180% of weapon damage for Arms Warriors, up from 120. I see. I don't know if I would have to pick up Blade Storm or not. I mean, I, I, we'd lose a CC um, because that falls on the same tier as our Shockwave. Um, I, I could foresee it being fun to play with, I guess. But as far as arenas and such, it's, you, you can't peel with a blade storm. You know, it doesn't work out real well. Uh, moving on, uh, bloodbath snare and bleed effects are now two separate debuffs. Clearing one of the effects will no longer remove the other. It's a beautiful thing. Enrage Regeneration now instantly heals the ward for 10% of their total health up from 5% so we gain an extra 5% there and an additional 10% over 5 seconds up from 5% hmm. Sounds good. I don't I think second one would still be more viable um, Yeah, and even including with this one a penny victory now heals the ward for 20% of their maximum health at all times up from 15% on attack and 20% on kill that yield experience or honor. Excuse me. Um hmm. No. I'm, I'm second wind. Definitely second wind. Uh, let's see, next thing Stormbolt also now also has an offhand attack for Fury Warriors. What exactly that is, I don't really know. I don't really play Fury. Um, I don't know where they're going with that. Because um, most of the time, I, as far as I know, when I played Fury, or uh, I had Stormbolt, it was always for a, a ranged attack. Uh, let's say there's a healer, you know, 10 yards away or whatever. I would Stormbolt and then attack who they were healing, or vice versa. I don't know what the offhand attack would be. Maybe it uses offhand weapon damage for damage. I'm not really sure. Um, Vigilance no longer transfers damage to the warrior. The talent now reduces the amount of damage the target takes by 30% for 12 seconds. Good prot thing. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Warbringer now roots the target for 4 seconds instead of stunning them for 3 seconds. The 50% reduction of movement speed snare effect for 8 seconds remains unchanged. The glyph of blitz will now cause the Warbringer to root an additional 2 nearby targets. I'd have to say that sounds pretty good. I mean, as long as they're close together, um, I, I really think that would work. Um, Alright, moving on. Arms Warriors. Season Soldier bleh, Season Soldier now also reduces the cost of Thunderclap by 10 Rage. That's pretty nice. Here we go. Slam now deals 35% damage dealt against the primary target to all other enemies within 2 yards. What? Slam now deals 35% of damage dealt against the primary target to all other enemies within 2 yards and Cause an additional 10% damage to targets affected by the Warrior's Colossus Smash. Uh, so that's, if you Colossus Smash into a Slam, that's an increase of 45% damage. That's really nice. That's, that's pretty good damage. Might be part of a burst thing now. Sweepy Strikes now causes melee attacks to strike an additional nearby target for 75% of the initial damage, up from 50%. So, Arms Warriors got a buff. I mean, they, they're finally bringing us back up to what we were. Uh, Fury Warriors, sorry guys, the only, thing you, <laughs> the only thing you guys are getting basically is the offhand attack with um, Stormbolt. 
and just specifically for Fury Warriors, Titan's Grip now works with pole arms. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, Prot Warriors. Let's see, Revenge now generates 20 rage up from 15 rage. Ripposit is now is a new passive ability learned by Protection Warriors at level 76. When the warrior dodges or parries an attack, they gain 75% of their parry and dodge as an additional bonus to the critical strike for 20 seconds. It's pretty nice. Um, Ultimatum now activates from critical hits with Shield Slam instead of a flat 20% chance. And the ability will make the next heroic strike or cleave be a critical hit in addition to costing no rage. So, I mean, I don't know. There's some uh, pretty um, nice stuff they got going on here. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'll post a link down to what we were just looking at here. I mean, there's a lot of changes, a lot of new battlegrounds, and um, they also have a thing called the Proving Grounds that are coming up. Also, so if you're a prop warrior, what you gotta do is you gotta protect an NPC. Um, healing, if you're a healer, you heal the NPC. Uh, DPS, you basically test out your DPS, DPS and stuff down while there's a tank and so on and so forth. <laughs> Solo instances, dungeons, and then, you know, you got a couple NPCs that you got to work with. So you can basically test out your tanking, your DPS, or healing as a, in, in, a, in a PvE environment type deal. Um, so I'll leave a link right down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. Kiss some. <laughs>